Good morning. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. Today is Thursday, May the 13th, 2010 or 2010, whatever you want to call it. Right now, looking at gold spot. Um, during the past 10 bars, there have been four white up candles and five black down candles for a net of one black down candle. During the past 50 bars, there have been 22 white up candles and 27 black down candles for a net of five black down candles. Currently, the market pulse is positive since it's trading above its signal line. The post gain crossed above the swing VIX three periods ago. As far as positions go, currently the system is holding a uh, uh, holding longs from first and second pulse wave. The first pulse wave long 12.1092, second pulse wave long 12.1328. If you are currently long and you've been following uh, the Vulcan Report, you want to move your stops today to um, 1230. That's where you want to move your stops, 1230. Lock in some profit. Uh, that will allow profits to run. And if, you're, um, if, if you miss the trade and you're waiting for another entry point, then you, you want to be on the sidelines and wait patiently. Don't buy yet because as I read on, you're going to see why. All right, going to the trend channel. All right, the trend channel is up. This means that positive momentum has entered the market, so we expect sideways to higher prices within the next three to five days. The swing VIX is above 29. Red alert. The swing VIX is above 29. This is where it usually forms resistance. The swing VIX usually forms resistance before the underlying security. A buy or sell signal is generated when the swing VIX moves out of an overbought or oversold area. The last signal was an overbought sell seven periods ago. Obviously, that did not manifest because we haven't pulled back yet. So you don't want to short this, but you do want to move stops like I recommended at 12.30 to lock in profit. The swing VIX does not currently show any failure to swings. The security price has set a new 14 period high, while the swing VIX has not. This is a bearish divergence. Since the swing VIX crosses moving average, gold spot has increased 2.93% and its range from a high of 1248.32 to a low of 1183.98. Currently, the trend is very bullish and pointing upward. The current market condition is also very bullish. Gold spot is trading above the long term, intermediate, and short term moving averages. As for volatility, all right. Gold spot closed above the upper band by 4.5%. This combined with the steep upward uh, uptrend suggests that the upward trend in prices has a good chance of continuing. However, a short term pullback inside the bands is likely. We're at 46.35% wider range in the volatility bands than normal. The large width of the band suggests high volatility as compared to the gold spot's normal range. Therefore, the probability of volatility decreasing and prices entering into or remaining in a trading range has increased for the near term. The bands have been in this wide range for one trading session. The probability of prices consolidating into a less volatile trading range increases the longer the bands remain in this wide range. So alert on longs, move your stop to 1230, lock in some profit. All right, uh, or you can uh, be greedy and go ahead and just cash out right now uh, if, you, if you so desire. Taking a quick look at um, where we are, let's just take a look here. All right, um, those of you who, who listened to the first video, we're holding shorts here in the euro. As you can see, this arrow right here indicates where I got in at. Uh, this is order filled at uh, 126.20 uh, and holding. We're at 125.50 right now. Uh, let's pull up this gold to where we're at. All right, right now gold is at 12.36, okay? Uh, 76. Uh, it, the low is at 12.31.99. That's why I recommend moving the stop to 12.30 even. Uh, you should be safe for the day unless uh, some selling slash profit taking enters into the market of which you know you don't want to have all your profit gone the prior days low at 122806 is not a good uh, stop either I like the 1230 locks in more profit 
I'm greedy. I want my two dollars. That's how I look at it. All right. Pirates. We we trade. We're in here to to make money, not to be uh, ridiculous. Just remember, bears make money, and bulls make money, but pigs get slaughtered. All right. Moving on to silver spot. During the past 10 bars, there have been five white up candles and three black down candles for a net of two white up candles. During the past 50 bars, there have been 22 white up candles and 26 black down candles for a net of four black down candles. Currently, the market pulse is positive since it's trading above its signal line. The pulse scan crossed above the swing VIX three periods ago. The system is holding first and second pulse wave longs from 1879 and 1885, respectively. Uh, recommend it to, to lock in profit at this point at least move your um, your stop here to at least 19 even uh, let's just be more specific let me pull up the silver here for you alright we're at uh, actually you can put move your stop to 1936 even alright those of you who are long comex silver go ahead and move that stop okay 1936 even you should be safe if it pulls back you don't want to be in it all right wait for a re-entry point all right trend channel trend channel is up this means that positive momentum is entering the market so we expect sideways to higher prices within the next three to five days the swing VIX is not currently in a topping or bottoming pattern the last signal was an overbought sell 24 periods ago the swing VIX has just reached its highest value in the last 14 periods this is bullish since the swing VIX cross is moving average silver spot prices increased a whopping 5.21 percent in its range from a high of 1968 to a low of 1818 currently the trend is pointing upward and the market condition is very bullish currently we're above the long-term intermediate and short-term moving averages as for a volatility, uh, silver spot closed above the upper band by 14.1%. Although prices have broken the upper band and the upside breakout is possible, the most likely scenario is for the current trading range that silver spot is in is for it to continue, leaving a 16.02% narrow range than normal. So on the volatility, we remain neutral with a slight bullish. Uh, ten tendency, if you uh, did, I say the right tendency. Okay. All right. Uh, one final note. Just want to pull up silver for you right now where we're at, and we're at 1956. We hit an intraday high on the spot of 1965. So it looks looks good. Don't forget to move them stops to 1936 on the, those of you who are trading the silver spot. All right. And I'll leave you with one final thing. Bulls make money, bears make money, but pigs get slaughtered. Take what you can, give nothing back. That is the mantra of a Wall Street pirate. Peace out.